and pull it out and then let it down. Want me to see if I can find some chain? for workspace like this. I mean, I'm, I'm doing a lot of a lot of coveting of all this workspace. And you're out of the snow, you're out of the weather, you got the machine inside. Oops, just, just trying to focus on the positives. <laughs> Well, when you called me, I just picked them up. I was on my way back from Spokane, and you said, hey, 
What are you doing today? Can I give you a hand? I'm like, hallelujah, hallelujah. gorillas did you have for loading this up? Uh, they have, these guys, they're all engineers. Yeah. They, they have these things they got at uh, Arbor Freight. They're like a metal claw uh -huh. with a rubber band through them. And when you pull up, they lock on. He made a handle, put three of them together. And then they took like a broomstick so two guys would carry them. That's a good engineer right there. <laughs> <laughs> it took 26 hours to make that. And he said it's the best tool I've ever made. Okay. Yeah, stay there. Yay. Okay, so probably want to do, we got 12, right? So I do, probably the higher I keep them, the better they're going to be. Because I put my warming sauce down here and source at the bottom, okay. and the batteries will stay higher. Gotcha. And I probably don't want to go higher than this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, yeah, so three, so three, 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 three. So, that thing is locked in. Let me come do it.
So tell me why why the battery set up. It's good to have hydro generator, which this property does, has a reservoir up top, but uh, you got to have a battery backup system so you can keep your voltage and your amperage and all that stabilized. Well, I'm excited to see it come together. I, I'm looking forward to putting the batteries in and swapping it out. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I've seen the I've seen the solar thing and messed with the solar thing, but but the the hydro that's uh, that's a whole new twist, especially in this neck of the woods where you've got so many cold months and keeping water flowing is is a bit of a challenge. So it's going to be fun to help out with this project and see it uh, come together. Well, I'm not an expert on it, but my understanding is in this area, if you have a nice reservoir, once we get a good snowpack, everything underneath the reservoir because of the ground temperature, yeah, you end up with a, a, a much larger water flow in the winter months. Of course, the spring melt uh, after that, but then you do in the summer. The, the hardest part with hydro in this area is late summer because of the dryness. Right. But then again, your solar picks up the picks up the picks difference. It up the difference there. Gotcha. Well, I'm excited. This is going to be a fun project, and it'll be it'll be uh, it'll be neat to see it come together. I'm just curious. Yes. Your uh, viewers, are you aware that Josh has kind of relocated? You know, I, I'm keeping that one under my hat. All right, then we're going to edit this out. <laughs> <laughs>